Uh, let's talk about this question. Uh, it says that a race car driver must average um, 200 km per hour over the course of a time trial lasting 10 laps. If the first nine laps were done at an average speed of 196 km per hour, so is the average speed. What average speed must be maintained for the last lap? Okay, interesting question. Um, we do not know the distance of the lap, right? But that's not a problem because the same lap is being covered again and again. So what we can do is let's say this is that lap and let's say um, the distance of the lap as in the full circumference, what we are talking about, let's say that is D. So what I'm, uh, what we are assuming over here is let's say the circumference is actually equal to D. So the circumference is D and we know for a fact that the average speed is actually equal to the total distance, total distance over the total time. Now there are two cases over here which we have to uh, take into account. The first case is um, when we have the the uh, the average speed of 200 km per hour for 10 laps, so we know that the average speed is 200 km per hour. Uh, the, the distance will be since it is covering 10 laps and one lap is of distance D. So definitely 10 laps are going to be of 100 D distance. Uh, then we talk about the total time which we do not know. Uh, so let's call it T. That is the total time which is taken to cover all the 10 laps. So let's call it T. Uh, let's multiply both sides with T. So 200 T is actually equal to uh, this is a type over here. The, uh, these are 10 laps, so that should be 10. Uh, this should be 10 D over here. Uh, if we divide both sides with 10, we get 20 T is equal to D, or we can flip the equation and we can write D is equal to 20 T. And let's call this equation number one. All right, okay. Uh, 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 now, since we have this as, uh, I'll just scroll down a little bit so that it's legible. Uh, now, since we have this as uh, the equation number one, let's work a little bit more and find out the equation number two, which is for the first nine laps, right? I'm going to do the exact same activity, but uh, the only difference is the average speed is now 196. The distance is no longer 10D. It is 90 because it is for nine laps and the time for the first nine lap, uh, first nine, nine laps is let's say T sub nine. And just to make it very clear, uh, let's make it T sub 10 over here. So T sub 10 or T 10 actually means that this is the time taken for the 10 uh, laps in total. All right, uh, let's multiply both sides with T. So 196 T nine is 90. Can we divide both sides with nine? Mm, not really, not really. So let's hold on to this. In fact, let's flip the equation. So 9D is equal to 196 T of nine. Um, this is what we are getting. And uh, uh, from here, if we divide both sides with nine, we have 196 over nine is equal, uh, T9 is actually the value of D as well. All right, okay, what do we have to find? We have to find that uh, what is the average speed for the last lap? Okay, uh, so we know that uh, we can definitely find another, um, um, you know, another equation which is just for last lap. And let's say the average speed which we have to find is S. Uh, the distance for the last lap is there's only one lap, so that's going to be D. Over the time for that last lap, let's say, is T1. So from here, we get the value of T1 as D over S. Let's call this equation number three. All right, I'm gonna modify uh, uh, this equation and I'm gonna rewrite this in terms of T9 because that's gonna help us. So T9 will be 9D over 196 over here. I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna write the same thing over here as T10, T of 10 is equal to D over 20. Now from the first, second and third equations, uh, from the first, second and uh, third equations, just zoom out, zoom out a little bit. Uh, from the first, second, and third equations, I can easily uh, eliminate, uh, I, I can easily relate all the times because I know that the time taken for the first 10 laps is actually equal to the time taken for the first nine laps plus time taken for that, for that last lap. Now, what is T10? 
uh, T10 is over here as D over 20. So I write D over 20. Uh, what is T9? T9 is 90 over 9, D over 196, and uh, T1 is D over S, and S is what we have to find. So I think we have the answer now. All we have to do is, you know, get rid of this D. So D, D, and D is canceled. Uh, let's rearrange this a little bit. So 1 over 20 minus 9 over 196 is 1 over S. Um, uh, so I'm going to grab my calculator over here. It's 1 over 20, which is 0 0.05. And then we have uh, 9 over 196, which is 0 0.0. 0, 4, 5, 9, 1, 8, and so on. It's 1 over S. And then we take the reciprocal of both the sides. So uh, 1 over uh, 0 0.05 minus 0 0.0459 is equal to S. So from here, the value of S comes out as uh, uh, 1 over this value comes out as 245. 245, and the unit is kilometer per hour. So that will be the average speed of the last lap in order to you know, maintain these right areas. I hope this video was helpful. If there is any questions on this, uh, any doubts on this particular question, feel free to post it down in the comment section. See you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.